Through goes number 14, Reinhold Yost, the leader at one hour and intending to stay there. Across the curb then goes the BMW. That's not a way to keep a car together for the whole of the 24 hours. Number seven, the rondo of Francois Miga. He's heading for the pits for a usual driver change and check over of the car and refueling, of course. Suddenly, there is a change of pattern in this race. On goes the yellow light. And for the first time in history, a pace car is out at Le Mans. Devised in the United States for safety reasons, we have a pace car situation now in the Le Mans 24 hour race. And the cars begin to line up behind the pace car round the circuit. Because of the length of the circuit, three pace cars are used at Le Mans. And the pit road is blocked off so that the cars cannot take advantage by making the pit stop during the course of the yellow flag pace car situation. This is where the accident occurred. It was the WM of Thierry Boutsin who was running so well early on in the race. At 230 miles per hour, on the fastest part of the circuit, he had a suspension breakage. There we see the result, the hole in the road and the barrier completely broken away, in fact torn from its mounting in the ground. An accident at this sort of speed inevitably is going to cause injury. And unfortunately, during the course of this accident, a marshal has been killed and another one seriously injured. The gearbox is torn right from the back of the car. Fortunately for Boutsin, the passenger compartment and the driver compartment is unharmed and therefore he is unhurt in this terrifying accident. There is a rear wheel. The tyre, of course, came off in the accident. You have some idea now, in this picture, of the damage to the WM number 82. As an engineer comes from the pits to inspect the front suspension and by radio informs the rest of the team, who still have four cars in the race, that the problem is not likely to occur again. The yellow light, unfortunately, is out once more, and so is the pace car. Forty years old Frenchman, Jean-Louis Lafosse, enjoyed Le Mans, and although almost retired from racing, came back here year after year. 1981 was the last year. At the beginning of the Molsan Strait, accelerating out of Tetra Rouge at about 150 miles per hour, Lafosse's car left the road. He was killed instantly. The Rondo team considered withdrawing the other four cars. But they decided courageously that this is not what Jean-Louis Lafosse would have liked. This is the Molsan Strait. Down it, the cars reach some 230 miles per hour. It is absolutely awe-inspiring. And in it is a kink which is taken flat out. The American 935 comes up. Really going well, beginning to make places. And we're looking out now for Derek Bell because it's Bell now at the wheel of number 11 Porsche, making a terrific charge to try and catch Ted Field in the lead with his 935. 